What's up, y'all? Back later. Got a little unboxing for you guys. This here is the iPhone Mini. Yeah, I ordered this like two days ago, and it's already here. This is that new 5G iPhone. I basically got this because I really wanted to test out the internet speeds, and I also need to get rid of my iPhone 6S. So I got a new one. So we'll unbox it. We got a little bag of air. Cool. And then we got a little slim box. A little slim apple box. Been this little joint. Let's open this up really quick. Is that an easy open? I think so. Ooh, they got an easy open on here. They make it easy for us. They make it easy for us. I got the blue, the green, blue, whatever color it is. You got this box. When you open it, you're greeted with this. Your iPhone looks good. This is the mini joint. Oh. <laughs> Take the phone out, and then you got some cords. I got another fast charger. I definitely need to put this one over here by the bed because I put a slow charger over there. But now I got another fast charger. And then I got some stickers. You don't get no, no plug, no charger in here, but that's cool. I got plenty of freaking chargers. But here, this is the iPhone. We got this little paper on the front. Looks, looks kind of interesting. And you just pull it up, and we got the phone. Let's power this bad boy up. So we got, ooh, it's a little joint. I like it. Now this here is my iPhone 6S. I actually have to send this one back to T-Mobile. But uh, I want to do a size comparison. So like, it's definitely smaller. It's definitely smaller. This here is my iPhone 11. So yeah, it's definitely smaller. So let's set this bad boy up. Get this party started over here, yo. All right, guys, it's the next morning and thought I would talk about the new iPhone mini. Guys, I've had this phone for less than, not even 24 hours, maybe like, maybe 13 or 14 hours. I'm telling you guys right now, I love it. It's a favorite. And there's one reason why this is. It's because of the size. Like, it's so much easier to hold this phone in my hand. It's so much easier to hold this in my hand versus the iPhone 12. Well, the iPhone 11 here. The iPhone 11 is just bigger. It's bigger. My finger has to move more across the screen to get to places, you know? Versus with the smaller iPhone, it's very, very simple for my finger to move across like the screen is just very very small let's do a little size comparison here yeah. now I ordered this phone two days ago on T-Mobile I wanted to trade in my iPhone 6s this is my travel phone this is the phone I use when I travel I will um, buy another sim card in the country that I'm in and I'll put that new sim card in this phone that way i'll have a local number and local data and then i'll just use my other t-mobile phone and i'll just use the international roaming and uh, i usually just use it to make calls and to check certain posts but usually when i'm outside the country the unlocked phone is the phone that that, that i'm going to use the most so i actually have to mail this phone to t-mobile because they just mail me this one and we're doing like a swap thing so this is going to be my new international phone and believe it or not, yesterday I was in line at T-Mobile to trade in the iPhone 11 to get the iPhone 12 11 Pro or whatever. And I was in line and I was just about to get the phone, you know, I was ne next up in line and I was thinking, yo, let's just wait, let's just wait. Because I was waiting on the Mini to be mailed to me and the Mini, the mini was mailed to me at around like 7 p.m., like super late. I, I thought that I would, you know, maybe get it earlier in the day. But it was mailed to me super late. I unboxed the mini, put it out of the box, did the whole iCloud downloads, held a phone in my hand, looked at the phone and thought, yo, this is amazing. Now I haven't really tested out the cameras in this video. I think I'll, I'll make another video comparing and contrast the cameras and I'll also do some, some, some hardcore speed tests because I, I like to edit 4K video and 
you know this has a very very powerful chip to edit 4k video also this one does too um you know it, it, it's, it's not bad but but i like the whole smaller form factor with this phone and um, another thing that i really like about this phone that's very very new so it has this whole new like text deal so like here well sometimes it's very very difficult to like move this around like you have to move it around like that like it can be annoying so they come up with this new way of you can just hold down the space bar and you can move it around like so this is so much easier to move around oh my gosh it's so much easier to move around but this is just one update. You don't have to have an iPhone mini to have this. Um, you just need iOS 14 update and you have access to that. So let's see, it works here on my older iPhone. Yeah, same thing, yeah, it works. Same way, it's pretty cool. Now this is uh, an addition to um, iOS 14. So you don't necessarily have to have a new iPhone to get that whole little moving around cursor thing but it's definitely definitely something i like so far I, I love the iphone let's do an internet speed test while we're at it let's just go ahead and do a little internet speed test okay, here we go i think i have the brightness lower on it no the brightness is high on that one so we're picking up 5g on this one and over here we got lte on the larger iPhone. You know, it looks like it's not that much faster with the 4G. The upload speeds, let's see what the upload speeds are looking like. Oh, on the 5G, the upload speeds are not so glamorous. The upload speeds are not looking so good. Upload speeds are faster on the on the LTE network. So now this is 4G. This says it's on 5G, but I don't really know if it's on 5G. So we're doing a little internet speed test here. 5G is definitely a little bit faster than this. And once again, we also, we, need, we should look at the bars because I don't have full bars on either one of these. Two bars and this is three bars. These are the upload speeds. Upload speeds on the 5G is a little bit faster than the upload speeds on this one. But then also if we notice like the service is two bars on the 5G and three bars on the L LTE. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I can get better speed test versus the 5G network. Hopefully that'll change. I'll definitely do more speed tests and testing out the phones in other videos. But this, phone, this video, I just want to just talk about, you know, unboxing, talk about a couple things I like and uh, stay tuned for the more videos. But guys, I, like I say, I, I'm really digging this phone. This is my favorite iPhone that Apple has made so far. I like the size, I like the power. Also the charging, this is something I, I didn't really talk about. The charging, um, the iPhone 11 you can charge um, at speeds up to 18 watt. The new iPhone mini you can charge at speeds up to 20 watt. With MagSafe charging, you can charge up to 15 watt with MagSafe charging. So. Looks like Apple is quickly moving in the direction of getting rid of the charging port. Because now the Mag MagSafe charging is really, really cool. I only used um, my wireless charger just once last night because I just got this phone. One thing I will say about the wireless charging, I don't know if it's because this phone is smaller or if it's just better all around, but whenever I go to put this phone on my wireless charger, I have to make sure it's on there. Like I for real have to make sure it's on there, otherwise it's not gonna charge. With this one, it's a little bit easier to line it up. Maybe because they have more magnets or maybe because it's a smaller device. It, it could be a mixture of both. But uh, yeah, I just thought I wanted, thought I would, you know, throw that out there. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more iPhone 5G vids. Peace out, y'all.